Here's a logical overview of a network. On the left, we have a client that is going to try to reach the web server on the bottom right. So I'm going to walk you through the process of what's required to make this happen. By the end of this course, we'll have talked about all the pieces of this diagram, and you'll be able to understand and troubleshoot the various pieces. The first thing the client computer needs to do to reach the web server is convert the URL into an IP address. So for example, if the web server we were trying to reach is Pluralsight.com, it needs to find out what is the IP address for Pluralsight.com. It does this with a service called DNS, or Domain Naming System. So it reaches out to its configured DNS servers and asks it, what's the IP address for Pluralsight.com? The DNS servers go out, finds that IP address, and returns it to the client. Now that the client knows the IP address it needs to connect to, it will go across the internet, go out of its switch, through its router, out into the internet, eventually reaching the data center that the web server is located at. It's going to pass through a firewall and switches, and it's finally going to reach the web server. As it reaches that web server, it enters the networking stack of the operating system. There's usually a host-based firewall that it has to traverse. And then finally, it reaches the process that's the actual web server. Then this process is reversed. The data is sent back to the client, and the web page renders on the client machine.